You guys, look who it is! It is 8.30 in the morning. We have our coffee. Yep. Abby. Ice golden milk latte. And I have homemade almond milk latte. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're doing is something a little different. Instead of me shopping first, I just want to be surprised. So Abby's going to just take me on a little journey. Well, all of us on a little journey. Come along on the journey. Beautiful. Let's go. He couldn't even help himself. He kept looking around. I was like, stop. I thought I was surprising you along the way. Oh my gosh. It's so colorful. It makes my heart happy. And I feel like it has a very different vibe from what you're used to with Vlogmas. Oh, a hundred percent. So it feels different, but if you like it at Christmas, you'll like it all throughout the year. So let's start right here. Beautiful. So you, I know that you love your mixes Yes. Like your pre from Farm Steady, your pretzel mixes. Yes. I think you've done bagels. This is a new mix line. Now, I personally, I don't know if you watched me, but I, I was my own little editor this weekend and I made these at home because I wanted to make sure that I knew that they were easy, delicious, and they are. So I made these at home. I'm making these tomorrow. But what I like about this is like right now in my mind, I'm thinking Mother's Day gifts. I'm thinking Father's Day. I'm thinking teacher gifts coming up. Mm. So we have a pipeline of gift giving still, still in our near future. Yes. And I think that these are fun. I also like right now we're on spring break. My kids are like, I need something to do. These are great little activities to do. They are, I can attest, they're delicious. Like, how good does this? I mean, they all look so though? good. This carroty cake. I also, know. this makes two cakes. Yes, two loaves. Also, and, yeah, like. Aren't you excited about this for strawberry season? Oh, for a strawberry like a shortcake? good shortcake, mm -hmm. yes. So I think this is fun. I think this lends itself to a great gift. Um, I think it's a great hostess gift. I'm also going to touch on like moving hostess yes. host gifts because when you move to a new area and you go to visit somebody, like people will be coming to yeah. visit you, these are all things like how sweet would this be? It's to so make... cute. Okay. So if I was giving, let's say the brownie mix, for example, Okay. I love the idea of like a brownie mix, maybe a hot fudge. Because I'm talking brownie Sundays. Yes. Okay. Maybe we do like a like the little bowls. bowls. Maybe we do an enamel ice cream scooper. You can go like as big or as small as you want to when you are gift giving. Yeah. So, like if we were gonna make it small. Oh wait, that's really cute. Okay. So we have like a whole thing happening here. But if you wanted to peel it back then maybe you're just doing like this for a teacher gift. Yeah, a hundred percent. So there are ways to make things fuller, more robust, bigger budget. And then there are ways to really, really dial it back. But I think these are all fun ideas. It's amazing. Another thing that I have done before is I've done bowls. I've done sauces, like the caramel, the salted caramel is so good. The hot fudge is so good. And then as I'm going to somebody's house, I'll stop by the dairy. I was just going to say, like, if you have a dairy like we do, exactly. it's such a cool gift. Yeah. So then you've got kind of like an artisanal ice cream. You've got your toppings. You've got sprinkles. And then you have a different kind of gift. I love it. Okay. That's fun. All right. The other thing that... Well, let's... We'll go this way. We'll go this way. Um, okay, so we've got... I have to say, <laughs> that salt... Do you like it? On It's just so pretty, like on avocado toast. Yes. It just like makes everything better. Okay, I agree. So you have your... This is dried flowers in yes. your salt. So great for like rimming a margarita mm -hmm. glass, avocado toast, as you mentioned. Did, did I talk about the sugars last time? No. Okay, so these are sugars that have, like, this is a purple, orange, um, sweet rose, orange blossom, and lavender. Okay. So these also can rim a glass mm. in a really beautiful way. It could finish, um, like, a latte or a tea. Yeah. Or you could do it like sprinkle on top of something, but they're really pretty. They're really delicious. You can see how there are like the flecks of lavender in there. There are the flecks of 
rose petals. They're so cool. So this is another great kind of like artisanal gift. This is fun to give if you're doing it for a gift. You could do this with things to make yeah. a margarita. That could be fun. Love it. You could do whatever. But I'm glad you're enjoying I it. I love it. I always love a personal testimonial. Oh, you know? I love them. The fact that you're using it. Like it. these glasses I love. Yes. I have a set of four and I love them. They're just so fun. I know. And you're revisiting all of these things because you're packing everything. <laughs> I know. I wrapped them very securely. I'm sure you did. Okay, then I want to hit on a couple things that are like our tried and true vlogmas bestsellers. Oh, a hundred percent. Okay, so people these, write comments about those. These are so good. I had somebody who was doing like their adult son Easter basket, and she did like an Italian mm. theme. And so I revisited these, and I was like, these are so good. So they are tablets that you throw in a pot of hot water that will perfectly salt your water for pasta, like. It's brilliant. So you could do this. You could do some truffle Truff. marinara sauce. You could do like a pasta cookbook. You could do a really beautiful bowl. This is what she Ooh, did. Oh, that's pretty. Um, it comes in a couple different sizes. So all of those things, I love those serving bowls because they go with everything. And I love how they're each a little bit different. So love those. Okay. You got the crew out, yes. right? I Love. Think you got this shape, right? Yes. Okay. That shape is so cute. It's very cute. Wait, this shape or this, this shape? This shape. Yes, this is new. It's this was one bad. of my scariest things to pack because it just feels so delicate. Well, listen, you always know where you can. I know, like, 100%. You can. Um, so, this is another great, like, I think this is a great Mother's mm -hmm. Day, mother in law kind of gift. So you have the cruette, which the inside is where it holds your vinegar. The outside is where it holds your oil. I love doing like a special oil, a special, uh, special oil, special vinegar. So there's a champagne vinegar, a balsamic, a red wine vinegar. I think in a cruette, you want to stay in this region. So you see yes. the contrast. But this is great to have in your cabinet. Really, really delicious for us. I also think this is a great gift for someone who has like everything. Agreed. Because they, they won't have this. Agreed. And I just think like it is really so pretty on your counter. I agree. I love you. it. I have like a little wooden pedestal that I keep mine on with like two little do. salt and pepper crocs. Of course you do. I do. <laughs> Wait, because these we just like to merchandise eye. everything. These cups, yeah. those are pretty. Yes. So these, um, I believe it's called a cloche. Yes. Right? Yes. You're mm -hmm. right. Okay. So you've got your marble base and then your cloche on top, which this you can do like anything. You could pile your little stack of brownies. Mm -hmm. Like that could be another fun way to pair with Yes. Eggs. So always thinking of things that just kind of make sense if we're talking in a gift, even if you're gifting yourself, ways that you can round things out so they just make sense together. Well, you have trained me to think about this differently. So something I was thinking of with like the summer coming and like people like garden much more than they used to, like a beautiful salable salad tongs, the oil, like mm. wouldn't that be a good one? Mm -hmm. And like a really good bread mix. Yes. So you'd have like this bread and salad like bowl idea. Yes. <laughs> See, you got me thinking. I used to not think of gifts this way. But it's I would do collections of things, but they wouldn't not necessarily all go together. Yeah. They would just be like my favorite things that I would like add to a basket. But like now I start thinking about like, how do I make it like a whole experience? Yes. Which I think you just think about all the time. But don't you think as a receiver of a gift, sometimes when you get a gift, like I love a goodie bag, mm -hmm. but when I receive a goodie bag that kind of doesn't make sense, then I feel like as the receiver, now I have a bunch of things that are kind of like... <laughs> Just one off. Yes. But when I have something that's cohesive together, then I have, I know what to do. I with agree. It. I know where to put it in my house. I know how to assimilate it into my life. But when it's too PC, then I kind of feel like as the receiver, it gets lost. Yes. Yes. And like you don't want to give a gift that gets, gets lost, lost in the shuffle. Yeah. You want a gift that immediately gets put into action. Yeah. Ugh. So good. Okay. So I love the, your idea. That's really. And good. I love. Those are so, I, I also feel like that's something that people don't buy, but are absolutely necessary to have. Yes. And you know how bad you need it when you're hosting. Yes. And then you're like, crap, how do I mix this out? And like someone has like a fork <laughs> out and they're, right. like, they're like, mixing it. Do you have it. any serving utensils? And you're like, a, a dinner yeah, fork? Yeah. Is that what I, I have like several sets of those, but I like how little those are too. Yes. Yes. So these are great. You could do it as a salad, but even like, let's say you're hosting Thanksgiving or something. 
Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can do all kinds. Yeah. It doesn't have to just be a salad. So they're a nice thing to have on hand. Okay. You know I love Brussels sprouts. I know you do. <laughs> we, he ordered a burger and she said the side. And I was immediately thinking you were going to ask for a fry. No. Asked for a Brussels sprout. Thought, <laughs> You're like, that's an interesting. I like a Brussels sprout too, I do but too. not with a burger. I want a fry with a burger. But to each their own. That's what makes them all go round. Okay. Cocktail. Ugh. Cocktail, like so obsession. good. So really, still fun. the best champagne glasses I've ever bought. Yes, I'm very happy about that. Happy you feel that way. I agree with you. These are the champagne glasses that you're talking about, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So and then here, I also have these. Okay, so here is their new cousin. Those so are these so just pretty. came in. They're gorgeous. This is the exact same um, glass yes, as it is. your champagne glass. So this is a fun way, like if you have somebody who has this or mm -hmm. you or you're gifting this is a nice way to continue on that pattern of gift giving but like aren't these they're large? so pretty and what i'm excited about is the new house i know you and i talked about it like i'm there's gonna be color in the new house it's not gonna be like a neutral palette anymore mm -hmm. so like i can't wait to like the so can you believe you're saying that no, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm so excited yeah. and like overwhelmed by it all. Um, this is like a really good respite. Mm -hmm. But one thing that uh, Stephen and I were joking about is I essentially like am donating all of my wine glasses because I don't want to pack them except for the ones that I bought here. Oh, They're all that. getting like wrapped up and taken, um, just because like they represent something yeah. like different. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I was like, we are not wrapping every wine glass in this house. We'll walk to Crate and Barrel and buy new ones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wrapped, these were a beast Here to trees. wrap. I'm sure they were. The, well, and these are all going in the car with me too. They're, I just like wrapped them well enough to put in like a big gift bag and I'm just going to carry them with me. Well, I think, you know, speaking of like wrapping and packing, you know, not, I don't even know if everybody knows that like this is my family's business and anytime that you do get an order for Vlogmas <laughs> or for Movements, it's my dad yes. who is packing everything. <laughs> and so he knows what a beast those are to pack, but he does it like with such care. And so it's my dad who's packing everything for you. He's like my... My Let's keep pick. him busy. Order lots of yes, things. Please. So keep him really busy, especially with the glassware. I'm sure he'll love that. So um, fun new cocktail shakers. So cute. With that enamel look, little pop of color, especially if you have like a bar where, you know, you have exposed shelving. I always think it's fun to start like a mm -hmm. little collection of book if, books if you have shelving that you want displayed. Even if it's not like a legit bar, but you have like this little nook where yeah. maybe you keep your wine glasses or those types of things, it's fun to merchandise the area with what is happening in that space. So we have some great wine books, all kinds of fun things. These are a favorite of mine. I've bought yeah. so many of these and I've given those as hostess gifts. I think that's great. Yeah. I love them. So these, you, um, they're really beautiful. They all have like a dried fruit or like a cane sugar, depending on like lavender lemonade, pineapple jalapeno, um, the old fashioned sangria. So what you do is you fill it with the liquor of your choice or what m makes most sense for mm -hmm. the cocktail. It, it will Steep? steep? Like, like, what's the word? Steep or seep? It's steep. steep. Like a tea. Like a tea. Like a, yeah, <laughs> yes, a tea okay. with steep. Steep. So it's steeping, and then it is your base yes. to make eight to 16 yep. drinks. So the idea. And they are delicious. Yes. So it's really fun for like a party, yes. too. Yes. The idea, they're called Camp Craft Cocktails. So the idea is that you would make this to go camping. Camping. And then you would have like your base for cocktails for out. Your Love entire it. camping trip. Now I'm not a camper, so I would never. Oh, do I would that. never camp. Yeah, I just camp. would put it in my fridge and then or drink it. Bring it to a hotel. <laughs> I would not be camping, but for all of those outdoorsy people, go these for are it. so cute. Yes. Okay. Um. Here. So you're going to see a theme kind of sprinkled throughout the space where we are definitely getting ready for the change of the season. We are ready for outside entertaining. Yes. You will be out ready for outside entertaining before I will be. A hundred percent. But mentally, I will be there. Okay. Physically, you'll be there. And you can physically be there whenever you want to okay, be. thank you. I appreciate it. So these are melamine plates. I think that... Wait, they look like paper plates and that's so cool, right? cute. Yeah. So there's an assortment of colors. There is the small side, size, the medium, the platter. Oh. But I think for, you know, entertaining, I think they're really fun. These, 
plastic wine glasses, and then there are the tumblers the tum over here. Wait, so those... for poolside, outside, whatever it may so be. So cute. Yeah, I mean, it's just fun to have like some pops of color, and it doesn't mean that everything needs to be colorful. Oh, agreed. As you will see. Living in your new colorful life. I know. It's a whole new world for you. Guys. I know. It's, I'm not going to. It's gonna... a whole new world for you. I like bought like blue pillows and I was like, oh it's my gosh. <laughs> I think it's great. So I think that this for outside entertainment. Yes. Oh, and speaking of serve, serving pieces. I oh, love... those are beautiful. So this is packaged already. <gasps> like. See, that's typically what I would have bought. Did like you the just more new. Gasp? Yes, I, I have a thing for like tortoise shell. Well, this is very much your last house. Yes, vibe. that and Warmer. like this is very much the new house I know. vibe. I know. Those are beautiful. So these are great things to be gifting to somebody because we all need them. You don't need just one. You need multiples. And I love that it's already packaged in this incredible box. So the acrylic bases come in a multitude of colors. Like that oh, that's little, beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Kind of rose quartz. -y. Yes. So these are really pretty. Um, I think this is the same as this. So yeah, look at how you've totally changed. I know. New house vibe, old house vibe. I, there's something about the real clear ones that mm -hmm. I really like. I'm taking mm -hmm. those with me. Okay. Because they're already packed. That's how I can just yes, find. Totally Stephen's like, packed. don't buy stuff that you have to pack and but wrap. Christopher, my dad can pack. Wait, these are. I know. <laughs> these are so cute. Are cool? Yeah. So that's exciting. All right. I really, I would go with the blue because that is really what like the color. I just love the clear because like it can like translate to like everything. Or maybe you'll just live the life of like you need more than one. Yeah, probably. And for Christmas, for yes. Vlogmas. The blue ones are just so cute we'll though. Come back so. to you. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Okay, now over here. So this is also kind of like this is a little bit more like light, not necessarily even girly because it doesn't have to be girly. I think these little tables are very cool. So cool. These I love. So oh, those this are is a very heavy duty bowl. It comes in the smaller bowl and then it comes in a serving wow. bowl. Wow. Which these I think are stunning, great for like middle of a table, middle of an island, great for a huge fruit basket or fruit bowl. Could do a huge salad in them. But like look at some of these color. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're very, very cool. Um Oh, they're, they're stunning. They're gorgeous. So I like this and I like that you have a handful of different, you know, ways to style them. It could yeah. be on an exposed shelf. It could just be serving. Or... I really like this vintage glass vibe. Yeah. This is kind of your new Yeah. Vibe like, too, like the milky it? glass. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't this remind you of your grandma? Yes. This reminds it me does. of my grandma too, which is why um, I have it. She would have like milk glass and jade, like yes. the, the jade glass. Oh wait. I feel like we have the jade around here somewhere. I also love those beaded gl like glassware. Okay. So those are these so pretty. Are very cool. So you can do these as a martini glass. You do the sundae in them. You can do it's desserts exactly in them. Say. Yes. A scoop of ice yes. cream. Yes. Or like if you have like a cobbler, Isn't like anything fun? you can do with that. Yes. And I like that it's sturdy. Sometimes a martini glass, just the Feel idea flimsy. makes me a little bit concerned. But this beading, it comes in the bowls, the martini glasses, and then Those these are, are like the best glasses. Comes in two different sizes. This is the small size, it's 10 ounces. And then there's a little bit larger of a size, which is 13 ounces. I'll find them somewhere. Right there. Oh, wait, no, those are the same those size. Those are the smaller size. They're around here somewhere. Okay. But they come in a ton of different colors, but to mix in with these other pieces are really beautiful. And they feel substantial in yes. your hands, which I really like. Um, and while there's detail, I don't think that they're overly... No, not at all. So I think that this is a nice option for kind of like a family glassware. It's just, it's fine for men, women, kids, yeah. substantial enough for kids, that kind of thing. Here's another. That's, they're beautiful. Yeah. And I love how like every, each one is different. Yes. <clears throat> and then there are the little plates. 
Be- oh, here, look at another little it's cloche so, for you. I mean, <laughs> I'm sensing a theme of cloches and enamel. <laughs> So too. And milk glass. Like all of your old school. Oh, things. that's so cute. Right? <clears throat> and I love the pink. So here are the resting, um, the nesting Ugh. holes. They're so good. Okay. I feel complete in this I feel area. complete in that area. Okay. Let's talk about, well, another favorite Vlogmas situation is oh, grapefruit. Everyone wine. loves it. Yes. I have a question to ask you. Yes. Should you cut the wick before you start burning them? I cut the wick before I start burning My them. My last one tunneled for me, and I realized I didn't cut the wick. Okay. So here, let's build out our gift. So we have our wick trimmer, which yep. not everybody owns a wick trimmer. I suggest cutting your trimming your wick, and then also you want the first burn of your candle to be a longer yes. burn <clears throat> because your candle will follow its original burn path. Yep. So don't burn it for like 15 minutes and then blow it out. The other thing that I like to gift with a candle is a USB yes, lighter. Yes, of course. So these come with its own <clears> charger. <throat> you'll light it. You'll never have to buy another lighter again. So I love gifting Genius. a candle with these. Um, it's just such a good scent. Yeah, it's the best. How many years now have you kept that as essentially like the scent of the store? Since we opened. That's incredible. And I've had people not know that that's my rule and like light and like the bourbon vanilla, which is amazing. And yeah. Sometimes I have that at my house, but in here it's only for yes. It is the scent. It's the signature scent. It absolutely is. Okay. Mother's Day again. Frames. So... My mom asked me, like, recently, she's like, do real pictures not exist anymore? Like, when is the last time that, like, somebody printed a picture, you know? I am not a picture person in my house. I don't have pictures of Steve. I have one wall that, like, are a picture from, like, each country we visited. Okay. But, like, I am not. With, like, you in it? No. I'm not a photograph person. Okay. Whereas, There's like, photographs am, of your mind? I feel like if I was a parent, I would be. Mm-hmm. I just, Yeah. It's new not, house, new back. Yeah, but my, like, mom has, like, a picture of everything, of everyone and every person. I'm like, she's and like, she's, this is a third cousin of someone. Great. Let's, have it, <laughs> let's have it on the wall. Let's put a nail on the wall and let's <laughs> hang them up. Well, your mom probably doesn't have a current printed picture. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't. Right. So, to print a real life current day. Where picture, do you even go anymore? A drugstore? I don't know. I think you do it online. Okay. <laughs> it might be what I'm doing for um, Mother's Day. Those are gorgeous. So, these are really cool. This is amethyst agate, rose quartz agate. So, I think that not only is the picture frame the gift, but then putting a picture in the picture frame is like. Yeah. It's a winner. I also love, say you don't have a picture, but like, you know, someone will love the frame. Yes. I love buying them a gift card and putting it in a picture frame. Sweet. And what like giving them a, a yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. Okay. Like I would frame one of my grandmother's recipe cards and like put totally. it on my like kitchen. Yes, yes. I love that. Okay. So another great housewarming idea. Have you ever heard of Palo Santo? Uh, I have it. Okay. So I Palo have that exact cu- I probably have it from buying it here. Don't you just love mm-hmm. the way it smells? It's so good. Okay, so for people who don't know what Palo Santo is, it's a wood from South America. It's a sacred special mm-hmm. wood. It has this very like warm just I don't know how to explain it's it. It's unisex. It's not it's just warm. Yeah. And inviting. And so Palo Santo different than like a smudge stick. Yes. Sage stick. So that's a dried herb. So it smells very herbaceous, which some people love, some people don't. Mm-hmm. We have um, sage here. But to me, it smells, when I'm burning it, it's over there. I'll show you when we walk around to it. To me, in my home, it smells a little pot-like. And that's yes. not really the scent <laughs> of I'm my going. space. But this is the scent of my space. Yeah. So sage, what it does is it cleanses the energy in your space and it removes negativity. Okay. Palo Santo cleanses the energy in your space and it infuses positivity. Mm. So it is a great thing to do whenever, but especially when you're moving into a new space. Uh, Okay. Is yours a new build? Yeah. Okay. So you want to cleanse the energy. Because there's been so many people in it. Yes. 
And also, if you're moving into a space that somebody lived in previously, no matter how lovely they are, their energy is there. Is there. You want to like reset and restart the energy in your space. And it doesn't just mean your home. It means your office. It means mm-hmm. wherever you are. So I love gifting these as a housewife Absolutely. Gift. Or a new job. Or a breakup. Or a whatever. A shift in energy I love to be like, I'm so sorry about your breakup. Here's some Palo Here, Santo. Let's infuse some positivity <laughs> and remove negativity. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> so I love those. These are very cool. So this is. I saw you carrying one earlier. Okay. So it charges. The base charges okay. right here. And then you turn it on. And so it can be a little nightlight or when you press this. It can be whatever color you want it to be. Oh my gosh. The coolest thing about it is that once it's charged, you can take it off and put it wherever you want. And then this charges your phone, your ear pods, your watch. It's a charger. That's wild. Isn't that cool? So let's think like dorm room, office. I was just going to say dorm rooms. Nightstand, kids. It's kind of like an easy gift for anybody. And especially because like my son, his is green. My daughter always has, where's hers? Purple. Um, And then the base comes in different colors. So there's a light pink, a coral, a white, and a black. But I just think... Um, for me, one of the ideas is definitely college and then also like a Father's Day gift. I think dads are very difficult to shout Oh, for. 100%. So I think for an office, it's kind of a cool idea, especially because like then he can constantly yes. be charging whatever he needs to charge. That's really a cool idea. Isn't it? Yes. Oh, that is neat. So I love that. Now, let's... People loved those at Vlogmas, the smiley blankets. Oh. I now have four of them in my house. They're I mean, so two good. I on the couch wasn't significant enough. Now they each have, my kids each have one on their bed. So what's so great about this is the They're fabric so good. is awesome. I can vouch for the fact that like I've washed them a million times. And then they have the contrasting colors mm-hmm. on the other side. So these are the full size blankets. And then in the kids room, we have the stroller okay. size blanket. So really fun idea for so good. like a baby shower. Um, these are a great idea for, you know, a graduation Love. present, a new house, first apartment, so whatever cute. the case may be. Yeah. Very cute. Very soft. Um, okay. Over here. Do you take a collagen supplement? Yes. I take liquid collagen every morning. Okay. Perfect. So Agent Natura, this is my personal favorite okay. collagen. I am an esthetician. My mom is a registered dietitian. So together we're kind of obsessed with, we do this um, workshop called Aging Optimally. And so I'm obsessed with aging optimally from your skin. And my mom is obsessed with aging optimally from like the inside out. So this collagen powder, it's a very clean formulation and it's very absorbable. Okay. So it essentially has no flavor. I put mine in my coffee and then I use my whisk from Best thing ever. Yes. And um, you do one scoop a day and this is a 30 day supply. Does it change the consistency of your coffee at all? It doesn't change the consistency of my coffee. And when I say like, it's essentially flavorless. However, probably like the first cup or two, I was like, oh, it tastes slightly different. Now I'm so used to the way that it yeah. tastes. And for me, it's like putting it in my coffee is better than putting it in water. I mean, and I like know drinking. that I'm drinking the yeah. coffee every day. I know that I'm consuming yeah. the entire cup. Um, but I will say that it definitely has made a difference in my hair, skin, and nails. Absolutely. I would say it makes a huge difference. Now, I just take a shot of it. Okay. It's not great. Baller. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just want to get it done as quickly as possible. I get it. I get it. <laughs> now that I have slower mornings, I might infuse it in my coffee. <laughs> You've got options. Okay, I'm looking behind me. How is your Omnilux mask going? Oh my gosh. It's so good. I don't, I very, the only time I miss days 
and I definitely have seen a difference in my skin, um, is when I went to Vegas because I was so afraid to travel with it. And I didn't know, like, oh. will TSA pull it out? No. I didn't know. So no. I panicked. Don't panic. You can, what's so great is you lay it flat. Yes. Like, I just didn't want them to be hands. like, what is this battery yeah. pad? Uh, yeah. No, it's fine. It's just a charger. Okay, great. So you can, you can. Yeah. It's the only time I did not use it. What do you feel like is different with your skin? I feel like, uh, like the elasticity in it yes. is better. I feel like the wrinkles that I have here are yes. so much better. I also just feel like overall my skin looks like more radiant and healthier. I, Isn't it crazy? It's crazy. I now, know. I will say I'm like consistent with it. And yes. sometimes I've done it like twice a day just for fun. Um, I hit the button twice. Oh, <laughs> wait. The best part is I don't know if you've caught them on Instagram. I Because I usually do it at night. If I do it during the day, I have my contacts in. Uh -huh. But at night, if I do it like at night, I have to put my glasses over? over the mask. Wow. And like what? Sure it's like, like a wow. whole thing. I'm it's like, sure. and like I stick the thing in my pocket. I walk around. I do what I need to do, but I have like my glasses on over the mask. But I, I, I would say like it is a game changer, like you said. I would it agree. is a game changer. I would agree. I, I would agree. Period. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you get a travel blanket last this Christmas? Yes, I did. Okay. So this, I just feel like... I came and grabbed it right before. I, remember I texted you? Yes. I, was, I came and grabbed oh, one, and you weren't here. Because remember, I was like, are you here? And yes. you're like, no. I was like, I'm running in and getting one. Yes. Okay, so... They're amazing. Yes. So great Mother's Day, Father's Day. I mean, any type of gift that, for somebody who travels, I just think it's the ultimate. Also, I was just talking to somebody the other day who's getting ready, like her son plays lacrosse for months on end mm -hmm. she's like i was freezing at the game oh that's such How a good idea is this to just have like you are schlepping yes. these bags to and from the game like put a travel i love that you there. can snap it onto your bag yes. like you it's I just love that you no fuss wash and dry it. yes it's great so highly recommend for gift giving um okay over here have you ever heard of Supergoop the sunscreen yes i have use you? i use i have multiples you have this. I love glow screen okay, that glow adds like screen. a little bit of shine glow to your face. Time, yep. But you've, you've felt this before, the unseen sunscreen? No. Okay. Give me your hand. Ah. Putting sunscreen on a child might be, it's, <laughs> it's actually just torture. It's torture. It's like hurting a cat. It's just <laughs> awful for everybody involved. Putting I also on, love like. There's nothing. I also think of people who like get that white, ca like a real yes. white cast from it. There's, I know. It just looks glistening and cute. I know. It's like. It's borderline weird. It's how odd. Soft it is. So it's not even soft. It, it goes. And it to doesn't nothing. feel oily yes. or sticky. Yes. So there's unseen sunscreen for the body and also for the face. My order should be coming in any moment. So if you don't see it online, just get okay. in there and it's coming. So I love that. Now I like. What is the SPF since you're like the skin guru that you would recommend that everyone wears? Because like I heard, I've heard like rumors like once you get to like past forty, like it really doesn't make a difference. But like, what would you I think say? You're really, just looking for like a a broad band, a, a broad spectrum sunscreen. Okay. I think between thirty and forty is sufficient. But really, what you're looking for is something that is protecting you against UVA and UVB rays. Okay. UVA are your aging rays, and UVB are your burning rays. So people think that just because they're not going outside, they're not getting exposure. Yes. You're getting exposure all the time from yeah. all kinds of, of rays. light. Yes. And so, really, like on your day to day, it's not basis, about just being in the sun. Exactly. That's and I think that's the what UVB people. Rays. Yes. The UVA rays are the ones that we're exposed to when you don't think yes. that you are. And those are really the the rays that are aging you. And I have got sunburns on cloudy days, too. Yes. People don't think about it. Right. We were in Arizona, and it was a cloudy day, so I didn't, like, bother. And I got burnt yes. that day. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I know. I know. All right. I'm standing here looking at... Okay, so this is a fan favorite, but it's a re... I was just going to say it's redone. Okay, so... It now, this is our sleep mask that we're all obsessed with, but now it's weighted. It's weighted. Mm. And it still has the stone and stuff in it? No, so now it's like little speckles of stones within so that you don't lose your stone. Oh, I'm always worried about losing my so stone. Now you don't lose your stone. So this blushy one has rose quartz. Okay. This kind of gray one has amethyst. 
but it has the smallest amount of weight. But what's so great is that you won't wake up with lines Line, you, because nope. it's silk. It's so good. So it's just giving you the slightest amount of pressure on your eyelids to just help to further the relaxation. Great for benefits. people who get migraines. Yes. They're game changers. Yes. I feel like people who get like chronic headaches all should have a good eye masks. They yes. make such a difference. Yes. So I love these as much as I love my weighted blanket. Did you? Oh, the blue. The, there was. Blue? They're over in the corner okay, over here. Yes. They're the best. I just washed mine to pack it up. So you've got your 12 pound throat. You've got your um, 15 pound or 20 pound queen size, and then 25 pound for king size. I think I told like in the first Vlogmas ever that I got weighted blankets for everyone in my house. Yes. And they are not all created equal. No. I got one for my mom and it was that really cool like fat weave. And she is like, my big toes are always sticking out. <laughs> it's driving me insane. So last and night, my big toes never get relaxed. They're always stressed. <laughs> and they're always cold. So literally <laughs> last night she brought home the 12 pound throw. I said, how are you feeling? And she's like... It's it, they're so good. Really. Yes. Also, I really had some skepticism of how they would wash and yeah. dry because, like, I've tried to wash weighted blankets before and they become a mess. They wash beautifully and yes. dry beautifully. Yes. Like, mine still looks brand new and I use it every day. Yes. My dogs use it as well. Of course they do. We got but, to calm the uh, dogs. Uh, okay. Um, oh, here's some sage. Oh, so, so cute. yeah, so these have some like dried flowers, maybe like a little evil eye. So again, your That's sage adorable. is helping to cleanse the energy and remove negativity. And uh, Palo Santo is cleansing and bringing in positive energy. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get it. I was trying to remember. Okay. Ugh. Fragrances. Yeah. Which, I, what are you wearing these days? I have dirty vanilla on this morning. Mm. Okay, great. So we've got Dirty Peach is a fun one for spring and okay. summer. It's not overly sweet. Um, dirty Vanilla, which you've got Bergamot. I have, dir I have that one. You I have Dirty Hinoki. I have that one. I have Dirty Grass and I have Dirty Lemon. Okay. I have them all. Okay, so we have them all. Um, but I love, I feel like if you're going to start anywhere, mm -hmm. I feel like this is the one that I find layers the best with everything. Like, I always will put on Dirty Vanilla and then choose another one mm -hmm. to wear with it. I would agree. I would I would add that if you're starting, I would do Dirty Vanilla or Dirty Lemon. A hundred percent. Because Dirty Lemon, I feel like, is a very easy transitional note. It's a little bit, obviously, yeah. more citrus. This is a bit more warm. I feel like this is a like good fall-winter yes. layer. This is a better spring-summer Yes layer so some favorite combinations i love dirty vanilla and dirty coconut together i love dirty lemon and dirty grass together i love dirty lemon and dirty peach together mm. um dirty hinoki and bergamusk these kind of yes. all go together yes. too. so you can't go they wrong. last all day yes. they have such a good throw dirty jasmine yeah. and dirty lemon are great they're together, so good so. i have a fragrance that you have to try what? it's called floor p-h-l-u-r have you heard of it no they, I'm probably going to be influenced as soon as you Oh, leave. you have always to, listening to You that. have to get Missing Person. Okay. And no, that's a weird title, but it is to <laughs> remind you of, like, some, like, no matter who it is, it'll remind you of, like, a loved one or someone you miss. Like, one of the first notes in it is called Skin Musk. Ooh. I was like very skeptical of it, so I tried it, and it, um, I'm a tear up. It immediately reminded me of my grandmother. Beep. It's called Missing Person. Okay. The instant you smell it, whether it's your mom, whether it's like your grandmother, no matter what, like it will remind you of someone like you you miss or like Done. someone that you think of. It's Done. amazing. Okay, I love it. You'll love it. I'll have to write it down because I've already forgot. I'm missing <laughs> Just remember missing person. <laughs> missing person. Okay, watch your step. Um, <laughs> this giraffe is the cutest is thing. It? My son is obsessed with giraffes, so there's a lot of... I, the kids' area really is just a self-fulfilling area for my own yeah. kids. So we have the giraffe of this guy in my son's room, and so now I think this one will probably end up in the other... So cute. Yeah, very sweet. So, okay, so these are the, the kid version size blankets here. And then, you know, just in terms of... Where do I want to start? Okay. Well, these are easy. 
Slime is not something as a parent that I ever feel like I yeah. want to craft. I mean, I'm not into buying gallons. I think yes. you have to do like gallons of glue and stuff like it's that. It's like glue, starch of some kind, like liquid, like fabric starch, something like that. I don't care to know the recipe. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But I will tell you that my mom, Mimi, got these for my kids for um, Easter. They're actually, they're well done. It's a well done okay. activity. This is, is the slime. slime. And then my kids were obsessed with being able to mix their own combinations of stuff. That's cool. So this was a really fun gift. It's going to be like one of my, you know, go-to birthday gifts. Um, but there's all different themes. So there's dinosaur sports, mermaids, sweets, princesses. That what a kind of cool stuff. Easter basket filler. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. My mom's a great gift giver. I got it from um, her. I mean, okay. it runs in the family. <laughs> it sure does. I was bred like this. Um, okay, these I think are so sweet. These little pieces, Oh my goodness. They're from Jelly Cat. Um, we've got everything from a heart to a, a sausage dog. Mm. You know, who doesn't need that? An avocado purse. An avocado, a cat. <laughs> Whenever you're looking for something that really accents your cocktail attire, you reach just, for your cactus purse. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, Jelly but, Cat is such a great brand. I mean, and we have such an enormous selection yes. we pretty much have like every animal every theme every size and so these little purses are so they're fun adorable for a kid so i highly recommend um okay then we have these puppy blankets are very cool for kids as well oh are they the same brand of the sleeping bags if they make a sleeping bag, that would be very nice because, no, the sleeping bags okay. over there are different. They're puppies. different. Okay, okay. Yes. These are just like this like a puffer vest material. That's um, cool. So even if you're not, and they have like the coolest colors. Yeah. So there's all kinds of different colors. I think that they're, they're lightweight, they're fun, they're bright, cheerful. Um... You can't That's go wrong. That's a cool gift. And it doesn't have to just be like a little kid. It could kind of be like a teen, too. Um, okay, moving up. This is oh, really that dragon fun. is adorable. I know. I know. Oh and my gosh, is he cute. Well, who doesn't need a baguette? I mean, that's adorable, <laughs> too. Pencil. The froggy's eyes. I know. I mean, really, it's like, I don't even know. They're all so cool. Oh, um, if I went back into the classroom and was teaching, I would have a classroom filled with these. Well, what I will tell you is that the the age range of people who have collections of jelly oh. cat, it does not discriminate. I mean, we've got we have got well grown adults with very very robust collections. That's so cute. Yeah, they're very fun, very cute. You can't go wrong. Okay, so over here, um, these paint by number sets I think are really fun. My son got one from the Easter Bunny, and he is very into it. I mean, it's great for like working yes. on your skills of keeping yourself in the lines. And I will tell you that they're pretty, the little sections are pretty small. So, like, an older kid, young adult Can enjoy could them. definitely do them. Um, so we have a great set of oh, supplies. I love it. Tie-dye kit, squeegee art. I mean, the options are endless. One of my favorite activities, though, is over here. And on my little camera rant about pictures uh -huh. that I was talking about before. So my son um, got this for Christmas. So this is a digital camera. <laughs> the and eyes. What's so great about it is that it prints the oh, picture wow. right here. So I mean, he he didn't really know that like pictures existed. Yeah. You know, he just thinks that they exist on your like phone. on your phone. Yeah. And so what's cool is that different than like a Polaroid camera, he'll take the picture and then he can decide whether he wants what's to print key? it or not. And then it comes out on this little piece of paper, and he has them like you know all over. That's it's so got this cute. Little, 
you know, it hangs around their neck. I love this. I love that for like taking a kid on vacation because oftentimes like the the kids don't get to choose like exactly. what they want to take pictures of. Exactly. I also think back in the day, and I don't know, this is probably dating myself. I remember like going on a field trip and getting like a dis- my mom would get me a yes. disposable camera. Yes. And I think it would be so fun. I think it was as fun for my mom to see what I would choose to take pictures of. There was one year where all I took pictures of was that I was <laughs> This village, and I took this village. Like it was like like a pioneer. It was kind of like a country museum okay. type thing. Okay. I took twenty four pictures because that's how many you got on a disposable camera of this one duck. <laughs> Just this duck. It, it was essentially like a flip book of this one duck. But that was important to you. It's all the and like we still laugh to this day that I only took pictures of this duck. I but, but through the eyes of you, it was she like the really what got to see like what was important. Yeah, to you and I've mom. never been. It was like because there were so many people, they were like trained to be used to people, so you could get so close to it. I thought it was the craziest thing ever. I took twenty four pictures of a duck. Well, I hope you saved one. I didn't, but I would kill to have one. I bet you my mom has. If we go too. through her boxes of photos, I bet you we could find them. It's just like one set of twenty four pictures of duck. Well, that was money well spent. I mean, getting that developed, and then you didn't get them developed. I I, I, I probably went on that field trip in second grade and got it developed when I was in fourth. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> they used to sit in my mom's cabinet in her bedroom, and then you'd have to bring them. Yeah. I mean, I remember that whole, and then the anticipation of going through and seeing like what was on the film room. Yeah. So this is just a fun thing to like That's get them so involved. Cool. I agree, great for vacation. I always think like if you're going to gift this, it comes with a couple rolls, but get I another set. Their refill rolls. And then this is a different version. This is completely wrapped in silicone, so you can drop oh. it a million times and it doesn't matter. And it comes on this little lanyard. That's great. When this unplugs, that plugs into your computer, so it's fully a digital camera. Wow. I also love that there are no like other games it's not on connected it. to Wi-Fi. It's it not is like having all a that it is. It's really just to take pictures. I love it. So this is another really fun gift idea. Oh, recommend. I love that. Yes. Um, and then kind of sprinkled throughout, you'll see all kinds of fun. I mean, we're getting ready again to get like into your the summer. spring and summer situation. Who doesn't need an absolutely ginormous snail sprinkler? Oh my gosh, that's, that's incredible. Um, so we need a giant snail. We definitely need, these are like... Those are cute. Yeah, worms. There is a huge swan. Um, swan. There is a, a tie-dye slip and slide. I saw, I, I zoomed in on the crocodile because it caught my attention too. Yes. Those are cool. They're very cool. And then in the other room over by the sunscreen, there are kind of more adult floats. So there's like a huge flamingo. There's a huge ice cream cone. Um, so cool. So all kinds of fun things that this is actually another thing that I've gifted before as a hostess gift. Like if I was going to a pool party or whatever. Oh, I think such a good really idea. it's really fun to bring like a novelty float that people may not buy for them. A hundred percent. But I think it's like a really fun gift to give. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. So I feel, I mean. I feel like we did it. I feel like we did it too. But well, this is our final. It's not our final. We're actually going to cut off the video and start planning Vlogmas already and talking through our vision because we are going to keep this going. Also, Abby is now stuck with me as a friend. I know you guys saw on Instagram, Abby and I had dinner the other night together. And we were just talking about it this morning about like how rare it is to like connect with someone. And like we got to really know each other. And I don't know. It's just like a very special relationship. So I'm forcing her to come to Charlotte. We're going to stay in touch. I'm already prompting Zoom wine dates together. Um, she has stuck with me forever, but I know how much you guys love her. You are a gem of a human. Thank you. Thank I, you for all of the support and just allowing me to be a part of it. You yeah. know, like, and I have told you this before, your community is a best. very unusual and supportive and very special group mm -hmm. of people that I feel touched to get you know to be a small part of i think it's so really cool that this started as like a collaboration and now like a friendship has developed yeah. out of it which yeah. is i think is like the best gift out of all of them i agree that's the best gift in the store i agree thank you thank you